Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a Pilates thighs and booty class. You won't need any equipment, just yourself and a mat. So when you're ready, let's begin. Let's start our class today standing at the back of our mat with our feet hip distance apart. Take a big inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, lower your arms, drop your chin down to your chest and roll down over your legs. Take a nice inhale at the bottom and then exhale, roll back up vertebra by vertebra. And again, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, release, roll down, keeping a soft bend through your knees. Then from here, on your inhale, straighten your left leg, reach your left arm up to the sky. Exhale, release. Inhale, open your right arm out, straighten your right leg. Exhale, release. One more on each side. Really stretching your arm up to the sky. Beautiful. Gently roll yourself up to standing. And let's now take our feet mat distance apart with our toes turned out. Draw your navel in, then inhale, squat down. Exhale, press up. Inhale, squat. Exhale, press. Really focus on sending your glutes far behind you with your weight in your heels and draw your navel in. Warming up our glutes and our thighs here. Three more. Two. And on this last one, let's hold it low in our squat. Take your hands to prayer, lift up halfway, then lower down. Exhale as you lift up, inhale as you lower. Really press your knees out, activating through your inner thighs as well as your glutes. Three more. Two. And one. Now let's go all the way up and all the way down. Exhale as you press up, inhale as you lower. Eight more. Really press down through your heels, squeezing your glutes at the top. You've got it, let's do two more. And last one, hold a low. Lift halfway up and lower. Halfway lift and all the way down. You've got it, your legs should be feeling nice and awake now. Keep drawing your navel in and lengthening through your spine. Three more, two, and one. Now hold low, take little pulses down and down. Reach your arms by your ears. You can do it, five more, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job, press yourself up. Bring your feet hip distance apart. Take a nice inhale and exhale, roll down. Walk your hands forward now and lower your knees underneath your hips to your tabletop position. Draw your navel in and flex your left foot. On your exhale, press your left foot back, inhale lower, then exhale, point your toe, open your knee to the side, inhale lower. So exhale, flex, press back, and then point as you open to the side. Really waking up the base and the outside of our left glute. Last one. Now hold the press back with your foot flexed and take little pulses up and up. Just eight more. And seven, really draw your navel in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your knee, let's repeat. Exhale, open to the side, inhale, lower. Exhale, press back, inhale, lower. So point your foot as you open your knee to the side. Flex your foot as you press it back. Just two more. And last one. Let's now hold our knee out to the side and take little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, little higher, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Well done. Come down onto your right hip now. Apologies that I'm not mirroring you here. And rest on your right forearm. Bend your knees and lift your feet off the floor, getting ready for your clam. On your exhale, open your left knee, inhale lower. Exhale, open, inhale lower. Really open that knee out as wide as you can, really activating through the outside of your left glute. Just two more. And last one. Now let's add a kick. Open your knee, kick your leg up, kiss your toes together, and then lower your knee. So you open, kick, kiss your toes, and lower your knee. Eight more like this. Really try to stay nice and lifted through the underside of your waist and keep drawing your right shoulder down away from your ear. Can you kick your left leg up nice and high up to the sky, really working your leg muscles. Three more like this. You can do it. Two. And last one. Well done. Let's kick our leg up to the sky now. On your exhale, tap your foot forward and then kiss your toes together, really opening your knee. So you tap forward and then tap your toes. Really try to extend your leg out in line with your hip, working the outside of your left glute. Just two more. And last one. Hold your toes together, flex your feet, and press your left knee back and back. Just for eight, seven, you can do it. Really squeeze your heels together. Four more, three, two, and one. Well done. Lower all the way down now on your body, resting your head in your hand, and either place your left knee on the floor in front of you, or come up on the ball of your foot. Now making sure that your right leg is in line with your body, let's lift our leg up and lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Eight more. And seven. Really point through your right toes, finding lots of length through your leg. Just three more. Two. And a one. Hold your leg lifted, 10 circles and nine, eight. Try to keep everything else still. You're really working your inner thighs here. Three more, two, and one. Now reverse for 10, nine. Nice big circles, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Flex your foot. Let's pulse our leg up two times. So you pulse, pulse, and lower. Lift, lift, and lower. Eight more like this. Nice, exhale, exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. You can do it. How high can you get your leg? Just three more, then we'll hold it lifted. And last one. Well done, hold your leg lifted now and take 10 pulses up and up. Eight more seven, six, little higher, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your leg lifted and extend your left leg out to meet your right. Reach your right arm long on the mat and rest your head down. Let's open both legs out and then bring them together. So you open and close, just eight more. So as you lift your left leg up, you're tapping your right foot down to the floor. Then you're really using your inner thighs to close them back together. Three more, two, and last one. Hold both legs lifted and let's scissor our legs for 10, nine, eight, nice big scissors, six more, five, four, three, two, and one, excellent job. Release your legs down, and then let's prop ourselves up for a well-deserved mermaid stretch. So inhale, reach your right arm up, and exhale, side bend over to the left. Okay, let's get straight to the other side. 
So come to your hands and your knees, draw your navel in and flex your right foot. Exhale, press back, inhale, lower, exhale, point and open to the side. So flex as you press back and point as you open your knee to the side. Three more. Nice, exhale as you press back, inhale, lower, exhale, open, inhale, close. Last one. Now hold the press back with your foot flexed and take little pulses up and up. Eight more. Seven, squeezing the base of your right glute. Four more. Three, two, and one. Lower the knee, let's repeat. Open to the side, lower, then press back and lower. Four more. Pointing your toe as you open your knee to the side, flexing as you press back. Two more. And last one. Let's hold our knee open now and take 10 lifts. You lift up and up. How high can you lift your knee? Six more, five, four, three, two, and one, excellent job. Let's come down onto our left hip now and support ourselves on our left forearm. Bend your knees and lift your feet off the floor. On your exhale, open your right knee, inhale, lower. Exhale, open, inhale, lower. Eight more. Make sure here that you're keeping your hips stacked on top of one another and that you're not rolling your hip back as you open your knee. We're really trying to target the outside of our right glute. Two more. And last one. Let's now add the kick. So open your knee, kick your leg up, tap your toes together and lower. You open, kick, kiss your toes and lower. Eight more like this. Really keep that left foot nice and lifted. That way your right leg has to work a little bit harder. Keep your shoulders relaxed. You can do it. Three more like this. And two. Last one, kick your leg up a little bit higher. Well done, kick your leg up to the sky again. And this time exhale, tap forward and then inhale, tap your toes together. Exhale as you tap forward, inhale as you tap your toes. Really see if you can extend your leg out in line with your hip, forcing the outside of your right glute to work even harder. You can do it. Exhale, tap the floor, inhale, tap your toes. Two more. And last one. Hold your toes together, flex your feet, and press your knee back for 10 and nine. Can you lift your feet off the floor a little higher? Six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Ouch, release your knees down. Come down onto your side, resting your head in your hand and place your right knee in front on the floor or come up on the ball of your right foot. Extend your left leg long in line with your body. Exhale, lift your leg up and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Eight more like this. Really reach through your left toes, lengthening through your leg, focusing on using your inner thigh muscles to lift your leg up. Two more. And last one, hold your leg lifted and draw those circles for 10 and nine. Try to keep your leg lifted. Six more, five, four, three, two, one. Now reverse for 10, nine, nice big circles. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Flex your foot. Pulse the leg up two times, exhale, exhale, inhale, lower. Exhale, exhale, inhale, lower. You've got it, seven more. Really pulse that leg up two times, nice and high. 
you're doing really well. Two more to go. And last one. Now hold your leg lifted and let's finish with our pulses. You lift and lift. Eight more. Seven, really flex that foot. Five, four, three, two, and one. Point your toe, extend your right leg out to meet your left, and then rest all the way down on your left arm. Let's open both legs and then close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. So lowering your left foot to the floor as you lift your right leg up and then close your legs together, really using the strength of your inner thighs as well as the side of your waist. Three more, two, and one. Hold your legs together, 10 scissors. You switch and switch. Try to keep those legs nice and lifted. Six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Release your legs down. You should have felt that. And let's prop ourselves up for our mermaid stretch. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, side bend over to the right. Excellent job. We only have one more exercise left of class. So let's come down onto our back. Bring your feet in towards your glutes with your feet hip distance apart. Then press down through your heels, squeeze your glutes and lift your hips up. On your inhale, lower your hips down to the floor. Exhale, press them up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Eight more. Really tuck your hips under, finding the squeeze in your glutes as you lift your hips up. Five more. Four. Press down through your heels. Two more. And on this last one, hold your hips lifted. Lift your heels up and then bring your heels together, keeping your toes apart. So your knees are slightly open. Then release your arms up to the sky. Inhale, lower your hips. Exhale, press up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. So really squeeze your heels together here. This is not only working our glutes, but it's also getting into our inner thighs. I really want you to squeeze your heels together so hard that your legs start to shake like mine are. Two more. And last one. Hold your hips high and let's add a little opening of our knees. So lower your hips halfway, lift, open your knees, and then bring them back in. So you lower your hips, lift, open your knees and close. Keep going. Your knees won't close all the way in. They'll just come back to that slightly open position. So you open them out nice and wide and then really focus on squeezing your inner thighs and your glutes to bring them back to their starting position. Two more. And last one. Let's hold our hips at the top and just open our knees. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Pretend that you have a big ball in between your thighs and as you close your knees together, you're squeezing the ball. Just two more. And last one. Hold your knees slightly apart and let's finish with pulses. You lift up and up. This is it. Really squeeze your heels. Seven more. Six. You're almost there. Five. Four. Little higher. Three. Two. And one. Excellent job. Lower your hips to the floor and hug your knees in. You are done. Let's stretch it out now. So grab a hold of the outsides of your feet for happy baby pulling your knees down towards your underarms. As you pull your feet down with your hands, really think of pushing your feet up into your hands, helping you draw your lower back down into the floor, feeling a deeper stretch through your hips. Either stay here if you want a deeper stretch, feel free to straighten your legs, just releasing a little bit more tension through your inner thighs and through your hips. 
Then carefully draw your knees back together, open your arms wide, cross your right knee over your left, drop your legs to the left and look over your right shoulder. Return through centre and switch sides. Cross your left knee over your right, drop your legs to the right and look over your left shoulder. Then carefully return through centre, hug your knees in and rock the length of your spine up to seated. Let's come to a seated position with one shin crossed in front of the other with our feet flexed. On your inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, walk your hands forward, gently finding a beautiful stretch for your glutes and for your lower back. Take deep breaths here. Then walk your hands back to your body and switch the crossing of your legs. So bring your other shin in front, flex your feet, Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forward. Take nice deep breaths here in this stretch, releasing any tension through your glutes. Then carefully walk your hands back, find a nice comfortable cross-legged position and let's finish class like always with one last big inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands to your heart. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's Pilates thigh and booty class. If you would like to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again and have the most beautiful day.